So what is up everybody? Welcome back to Team 6? I want to know, this is Team 5. Last episode, we won the National Championship with UTSA and we're coming off a lot of momentum right now. Tennessee was easily the most favorite team to do next. So we're going to rock out with these guys. Five-star program in the SEC. We're going to give it a crack. We're going to rebuild this team and hopefully take Tennessee to the promised land. All right, six and seven, five and seven, and five and seven. We have a target wins per year of nine in the SEC. You've got to be kidding me, mate. Ooh, hold on a second. We have a freshman red shirt here. I don't know what we're going to do because we're going to need to pick up another quarterback. This guy is insanely fast, but he's not going to be here for all five years. He's going to leave the year before. Uh, let's go ahead, red shirt, Ty Chandler, the freshman. So this is good. Any freshmen that we can find right now are going to be critical to our success like 73 overall the troll bumpers that's yeah i love the sec mate this makes my job a whole lot easier red shirt this freshman right here my goodness this team is full of freshmen eric crosby i'll take it this is good i like this i like this a lot all right we got deron bailey trey lewis straight out the gates a couple four stars i like it we got a kicker here you know what i'm gonna take it i'm gonna take the kicker but because we are in such a power position right here we have a five star quality school and i'm gonna use this to my advantage 100 really trying to find a quarterback right now that is interested in coming to tennessee defensive end there another nice running back another couple of nice tight ends deron bailey going up to an 80 overall straight out the gate and he's very interested in coming to our school ah come on man but uh, i have a feeling this first class that we get is gonna be pretty pretty amazing man brent jacobs the athlete also not a quarterback rip they really really don't want us to uh be great we gotta get a quarterback year one though fellas all right so deron bailey is straight up interested in coming to tennessee this guy looks like a monster decent man coverage good block shedding we can put this guy right outside linebacker and literally just let him loose mate he got 85 hit power good play rec for a freshman we'll give trey lewis i'm only gonna give him uh, about 50 points though kicker we'll give him a scholarship and another 50 points not trying to spend too much time all right we'll take this wide receiver why not i'm pretty sure we only have one freshman that we redshirted defensive end what is david newton looking like here you got some good speed 85 89 what's his carrying like 69 carrying i can't do it man i can't give a guy with 69 carrying a damn scholarship oh my is this how we're gonna start this off Tennessee losing to the Baboons. For some reason, we're not leading for Deron Bailey. I don't know how we wouldn't be leading for him. We don't have the lead on the kicker. You know what? The kicker, I'm not really too fast about the kicker. Lead on Marvin James. Lead on Dominique Sharp. Lead on Stanley McCulloch. I think I kind of want to get rid of Mike Bush. I'm not going to lie. I don't want Trey Lewis. I don't want this guy. That's too many points to be investing into somebody like that. You know what I mean? This is Tennessee, bro. Four-star quarterback, Maurice Stewart. Andy Smith. We also have McPherson, who's a 72. I like the look of this guy, Andy Smith. Fingers crossed that this guy makes the smart choice, sticks it out with Tennessee, and he'll lead our quarterback. He's 76. He's going to become our go-to guy. We have the lead on Mike Ford. I'm kind of liking this right now. We can go ahead and simulate three weeks. No problems. All right, we got the lead on Andy Smith. Nice. Quarterback of the future for us. Second quarterback in the class, by the way. Deron Bailey's still giving us a little bit of cheek. I feel like that, that shouldn't be happening, but that's whatever. We got the lead on everybody but Gary Newton, the cornerback. Lead on Mike Ford. So we're in a really good spot right now. We can go ahead and simulate three more weeks. We've got some people ready to visit too. So we're a B, B minus and B. This is really bad for us. We also have injuries to our left tackle, defensive end, sorry, tight end and right guard. So our offensive line is probably getting destroyed. One of our best receivers is out feels bad for Tennessee right now we're not in a good spot I kind of want to get a cornerback just to uh redeem myself here I like that cornerback Jonathan McKeon these guys need to hurry up and commit all right so we got an athlete Stephen Hines he's a Juco though why did I why did I sign a Juco why did I do that come on chat whoa i think we just found our quarterback fellas 86 speed 89 excel 87 throw power 82 accuracy 80 carry we just stumbled across one hell of an athlete right here that's a no-brainer i'm gonna go ahead and give 250 to jonathan mckee on here 
Let's move Ryan Curtis right to the top. I'm sorry, Andy Smith, you looked promising, but you're not going to be the guy to lead us to the promised land anymore. Ryan Curtis, we got the lead on him, chat. This is what we wanted so bad, man. Ryan Curtis, the 80 overall athlete. What an absolute monster. We're still fighting with Deron Bailey. I wish he would just hurry up and sign with the dang team. And let's go ahead and give Brent Jacobs a scholarship, though. I don't think he's going to sign with the squad. We get Jonathan McKeon, Jacob Clark, Greg Bell, and Dominic Sharp. Pretty damn nice. I'm happy with that. And we finished the season 24th. Was not expecting to go 7-5 and five and still be ranked. I don't know how that makes any sense. We're going to be taking on 12th ranked Minnesota in the Gator Bowl. And we lost to the go the Gophers, bro. Target's win is 9. So rip us, but we're on our way up, fellas. Our wide receiver is declaring. Our cornerback is... Wait a second. We signed a tight end anyway. So screw this guy. Go, go to Vandy, mate. The class is pretty decent, but Ryan Curtis is pretty much like the face of this dynasty. You know what I mean? Deron Bailey would be a mad player. We already have a 5,000 point lead. I'm going to offer Ryan Curtis 8,000 to like literally secure this guy because he is the dynasty. We got offensive linemen, all that good stuff. Ryan Curtis is a running back? See, chat, it worked out for the best. We got Mike Houston, we got Deron Bailey, and we got Ryan Curtis. We signed a top 10 class. We get Mike Houston, Ryan Curtis, who will be the quarterback of the future, and Deron Bailey. Marvin James goes and signs with Texas A&M, so who cares? We got a cornerback, wide receiver, tackle, tight end. Andy Smith, who's probably going to transfer, I'm guessing. Another cornerback in Mike Ford, Jeff Vaughn, Stephen Hines, and Stanley McCulloch. Not one player that is... Bad, really. All of these guys are going to be 90s. Curtis isn't just an 80 overall quarterback. He's an 82, bro. All right, let's check this out. A lot of seniors going up to the high 90s. Kind of expected. Where's our first player that's going to be there till the end? We lose so many people this year. Feels bad, man. We're going to go down a lot of overall. We've got seniors everywhere, bro. So at quarterback, we're going to redshirt Curtis and Andy Smith, of course. Just in case. I don't really want Smith to leave. Uh, at running back, let's go ahead and redshirt Trey Coleman. Let's redshirt Stephen Hines, Dominique Sharp, and Nick Thompson. So these guys will all be there for the last year. That final year when we make the natty push, this team is going to be scary good. We don't need a running back, but Mike Hayes is interested. Five-star receiver Aaron Griffin is six on our list. Walter Franklin is also on our list. All right, we got a five-star tight end. We don't really need a tight end, but you know what? I'm going to pull the trigger on him anyway. Outside linebacker going to take that. We don't need another tight end. I don't. Is Tennessee like defensive end university or something? Um, if there's one position we're going to get, we need to get. It needs to be that safety position. One-star quarterback. Mate, <laughs> uh, <laughs> good luck. Good luck trying to get into our school. Got a guard, got a tackle. Man, this is so easy, bro. Are we really rebuilding Tennessee right now? Like, this is so easy. Everybody that wants to come here is so good. Chat one star quarterback with the Heisman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, watch him do that. This guy's got 91 throw power, chat, this athlete. Um, I'm not going to even bother with Joe Martin. He just might be somebody we can get. 78 overall, Alex McLennan. McClellan. All right, we got him. I really want to get McLennan, man. Colt Johnson sounds like a Hall of Fame NFL guard right there. You weren't lying. Jeff Alexander has 99 acceleration. What do you know? That's crazy. Not bad at all, chat. If you can't find a good safety, you had a couple of four-star corners instead. We were a B, B minus, and B last year. This year, we're a B plus, B plus, and A minus. So we're already a better team than we were last year. I want to get Aaron Griffin straight out the gate. I'm pumped. I want to get Walter Franklin, the wide receiver. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the tight end just yet. Jeff Alexander had 99 acceleration, so I want to give him. I want to get him in as soon as possible. Anthony Thomas, just in case we don't have a good backup cornerback. And it's crazy because every school that we compete against is the same. It's Georgia, Alabama, Notre Dame, LSU, or just SEC teams. That's it. All right, Jacob Jenkins. I'm going to go ahead and take this guy off the board already. I'm not interested. Alex McClelland, uh, 700. We got the lead on him. Aaron Griffin, we're just behind. Walter Franklin. I mean, I don't know what's going on. Notre Dame just seems to like to steal all of our pieces. Trevor Henry is uh, getting taken off the, the list immediately. All right, I'll take an athlete, Brandon Scott. Even though he looks like he's about 40 years old. 426, Greg Woods. 
Alright, let's go by uh, low lock. We'll just grab somebody simple. Maybe a wide receiver. Alright, he's only a 72. Brandon Scott, please go up. He's a 73. That's a yikes. Oklahoma University. We win! We beat the number three school in the nation. We nearly have the lead on everybody. We do have the lead on everybody but Michael Harris. Uh, let's go give Brandon Scott a scholarship. He'll be a nice roll backup player for his entire career. And Cole Johnson's just a cool name. So he's going to get a scholarship and 100 points. All right, everybody locked us out. All right, let's just get Bo Taylor. Keep it nice and simple. No need to go too crazy. Athletes can typically surprise you. He's actually a gem. He's a quarterback too. Let's take a little bit of points off Brandon Scott here. Give him a scholarship and 250. All right, so we pick up Alex McClellan, the strong safety. That's fantastic. We also get a right guard. Couple of nice pieces there. Best returner, finalist for the Thorpe. We're going to have a lot of wide receivers, I'll tell you that much. Let's just go ahead and give these guys scholarships. Like, I'm not going to waste time with it. We're, we're still going to have points left over. You know what I mean? Like, this season's over and with, over and done with. We got a pretty good class. Like, we got the pieces we needed, which is really good. Uh, we didn't even get a bowl game. Feels bad. What year is it? We're about to enter season three. All right, so Aino, I've got some bad news, my guy. Our security is safe for now. We go from seven and six back to five and seven. We lost a lot of easy games just then. Colorado State. Oh, we got a new defensive coordinator and he's level one. We get some shit back up like Snyder. You're telling me there's not one coach in the entire country that you can sign? No! Ryan Curtis is homesick! He's going to Baylor! What an absolute wanker! Greg Bell is also transferring due to playtime. That really sucks, chat. That really, really sucks. At least we have that backup quarterback, though. He should be around a 90 as well, but he's not that guy. You know what I mean? He's not that guy, though, which is what's annoying. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, so we give you our 82 overall quarterback, and you give me your 46 overall free safety. That seems like a fair trade. Let's take it. We have a quarterback, so we're all good. Um, I think we'll just keep it safe, get some offensive linemen. It's not very often that you can get a... 80 overall center, 7k, a cornerback would be nice, so we'll give this guy like, are we leading on this guy or what? We're only 35 in front, really? Literally can't believe that guy got up and left, I still can't believe that. And it wasn't like he was leaving because of playing time, he was leaving because he was homesick. Alright, we pick up Brandon Jackson, 80 overall center, 80 overall wide receiver, 79 cornerback. We signed a top 5 class, fellas, that's what I'm talking about, last year was a top 10. Alright, so we signed two 5 star players, seven four stars and seven three stars. All right, and everybody's favorite part of the season, training results. Tyler Bird, who will be leaving this year as a 94. Drew Richmond's gonna be leaving. Trey Smith is a 90 overall sophomore. So he's gonna be there that final season. Nigel Warrior. What a name, Nigel Warrior. Ty Chandler's still gonna be there. We have a lot of seniors this year, fellas. Look how much the team has gone up. Andy Smith is now an 80 freshman. He'll be the backup for this season. Trey Smith was the number one overall recruit like two years ago. Well, there you go. Wow, Josh Palm is going to be like a 99 wide receiver. This guy's going to be like a 96. Nice guard, my, nice middle linebacker. Nice cornerback. We need to get some cornerbacks. I didn't realize how big of a problem that cornerback position was for us. We'll take another tight end just in case our one decides to leave for the 50th time. Now Another three-star cornerback still looking for a four-star. This guy is six foot four and runs a four three. Son of Steve Nash isn't a basketball player. He's a uh, athlete. He's also a really, really good quarterback. Chris Nash is our guy. That's who we need. All right, we still got 150 points, but I'm not stressing it. A minus A offense, A minus defense. And this is what? This is year three, isn't it? 93 overall with a 95 offense and a 92 defense to start out season three. I'm going to get another tight end just in case ours decides to leave again. Um, we're looking pretty solid right now. I'm not going to change anything. All right, we sign Clint Daniels, the 78 overall right guard. All right, we're leading on pretty much everybody. Still having some trouble with our Steve Nash's son. Oh, look at this. John Pitts, the five-star athlete, mate. And then Brewer. I'm going to get both of these guys. Give you a scholarship, my guy. Give you a scholarship. Everybody gets a scholarship. I don't think we got a bowl game. Again. So, season one, we had a top ten class. Season two, we had a top five class. Season three, we finished again with a... Uh, we're a three prestige school now. Do you see that? Three prestige. We got two five-stars... Eight four stars. All right, let's go, boys. Let's see if we can pick up a dub against Miami. Either way, we finish with a positive record, but I would love to go back to a four-star school. And the result, the T, 
versus the U. All right, you know what? Okay, we're not fired, but the security is low. Tyler Bird is leaving for the draft. Richmond is. Nigel Warrior is leaving as well. Now, here's the thing, fellas. The first year when somebody has not said, I'm homesick or I'm transferring. Really happy about that. Let's go. I'd rather be Baylor than win the Natty. You know what? We'll take him on. We'll take him on. They did steal our quarterback. We have Lewis Brewer, Luther Harrison. Oh, damn. Oh, guys, we got a lot of cornerbacks too, I forgot to say. Glass is actually really, really solid. I know we're in the SEC, but we're a three-star school now because of all the losing we've been doing. 81 wide receiver. I guess I'm going to put him at receiver for now. Uh, very good free safety too. Let's put him there for a bit of depth. Luther Harrison, I know for a fact, is a cornerback. Free safety, we have four freshmen. Four freshmen. Imagine that. We're going to have a high 90 strong safety. All right, checking out training results. How was that subway yesterday? Delicious, mate. All right, he's leaving us this year, so he's kind of pointless, but he's a 96 overall. Our running back, Ty Chandler, is not leaving us this year. He will, in fact, be a 99 overall for his senior season. Josh Palmer's going to be a 99 overall. Our right guard's probably going to be a 98 overall. Uh, we're losing Austin Smith, but we'll hang on to our punter. We're losing him, losing him. Malik Gray will be like a 95 overall strong safety for his senior season. Come on, this team is so stacked. All right, even though we're a three-star, we Still got a lot of people ready to come in. Uh, fellas, I'm going to be real with you. There's no reason to go after anybody trash because after this season, we're going all in. So instead of going after like people who are interested in the school, we're just going to go after the top players, wide receivers, athletes, running backs, try and get as much depth as possible. Can we get an insta commit? We actually have that unlocked now. We're just going to get the best possible talent we can. 310 bonus on Marlon Shelton. Let's get it. 320 on Jeff Smith. 97 overall team with a 99 offense and a 95 defense i don't understand why we're so bad how are we negative we signed the number one guy in the nation hello greg richardson okay that's the problem right if you have a bad team in a good conference no matter your prestige or anything it's gonna come back and bite you in the ass like even the backups are good on the team the backups are like 85s and shit too security is low ain't no our career record is 25 and 25 how is that not a curse, bro? Looks like a Mario level. Brandon Scott is transferring. You bring your bold 18-year-old head back. Okay, you know what? Go. He's declaring as a junior. No chance. Promise the player he will not regret staying. I'm going to guarantee Trey that he's going to get a national title. Manipulate. Okay, okay. So we got quite a few people leaving. Recruiting. I really don't care at this point. Position changes. Let's get it. Is there a coach for Buffalo yet? No, there's not. Round one draft pick. Three, four. How did we sign a top 25 class? All right, boys. The final training results of the entire thing. We have not gotten above seven wins this entire dynasty. And we're sick of it. The final team going into our last season. 99 overall wide receiver. 99 running back. 99 right guard. 97 strong safety. 94 DT. What else, what else do we have here? 92 cornerback, 92 DT, 92 right outside linebacker, 91 middle linebacker, center, cornerback, the backup running back is a 90, third string wide receiver is 90, the quarterback is 90. We have 16 90 plus overall players. If we do not at least go like 10 and 2, at least 10 and 2, this game is so unbelievably rigged. Baylor is there, boys. We're an A plus overall with an A plus offense and an A plus defense for our final season of the rebuild. You can see that Tennessee has a 99 overall team with a 99 overall offense and a 99 defense. The best possible team in the game. So the reason that we are taking on Baylor is because very early on, they stole our quarterback, Ryan Curtis. Now a 94 overall in his junior season. He would be a 99 if he played for the Tennessee team because the training boost will be that much better. 90 overall quarterback with an 85 overall freshman to back him up in case of injury. 99 running back, 90 backup, 86 third string. Every single one of these running backs, first, second, and third string, all have 99 acceleration. The wide receivers are 99, 90, and 88, and 85, so there's no excuse for not throwing the ball. The tight end is an 87 overall who can block. The left tackle is an 87. Left guard is an 88. Center is 91. Right guard is 99. The right tackle is an 86 overall. The left end's an 89. Right end, 87. 
Defensive tackles are 94 and 92 respectively. Outside linebacker 89, middle linebacker 91. Other outside linebackers are 92. Cornerbacks are 92, 91, and 89. Free safety is an 88. And last but not least, our strong safety Malik Gray is a 6'2 senior that is 97 overall. If you do not believe that this Tennessee team is not good enough to go 10 and 2, then you are out of your mind. Let's see what the finalized record is. Oh, chat, I can't even look. We lost week one. These guys stole our quarterback. We beat them 42 to 16. So, Ryan, you cockhead, take that. We had a finalist for the Blitnikov, Ben Derek, Thorpe, Outland. Finalist for the guy. Our punters always win the guy. Um, we finished 23rd in the nation on an 8 and 4 record. Well, isn't the Outback Bowl bigger than the Natty anyway? Like, don't the better teams go to that? And it's more like impressive if you win the Outback Bowl. I'm pretty sure it is. In fact, I don't even need to read chat that it's not because I know that it is. Like, this is our goal. We wanted to go to the Outback Bowl. We had an incredible season. Oh, oh, I don't know about this one, chat. I might be a little bit biased here. So our quarterback, Andy Smith, 93 overall, had 33 touchdowns, 14 interceptions, 3,100 yards. For his overall, I expected a lot better from him, especially with 99 receivers. See you later, Andy. The running back, Ty Chandler, didn't even crack 1,000 yards at 99 overall. He only had eight touchdowns, 6.4 average. Uh, he did split the carries with Trey Coleman, pretty much, who had... 6, 9, 6, and 10 touchdowns. On the receiving end, Josh Palmer, probably the offensive MVP. 1,279 yards, 16.6 .6 average, and 15 touchdowns. Stephen Hines wasn't even a factor at all, really. Joe Martin wasn't really a factor. Like, none of the other receivers were really a factor. On the blocking end, Brendan Jackson, 28 pancakes. Locklear, 27. Jacob Clark. Trey Smith, the 99 right guard, 14 pancakes, 6 sacks. And on the defense, Shannon Reed, the left outside linebacker, 89 total tackles 15 tfls nothing too crazy in terms of tackles i expected a lot better not even a light chat expected a lot better from this team la Bruza had five interceptions which is pretty good luther harrison as a freshman three and that's a major rip as we only had four fumble recoveries let us go and check out this last game right here taking on michigan state we are definitely the better team Hands down, Rutgers is number one. You have got to be kidding me, mate. Rutgers isn't even good. They're just giving the game to Bama. We got smashed by Michigan State. So far, we're safe for now. In five years, we did not get our targets win per year. It still looks like a Mario level. Anybody still watching on YouTube, Bama did win the national championship against Rutgers. They went 13-1. and one. Oh my goodness. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed, even though that was kind of unfortunate. I'm telling you right now, Tennessee is 100% cursed. But if you didn't make it this far into the video, you are the real MVP. I hope the rest of your day is awesome. From me personally, I'm out. Peace. Now you work, now